um, ever since I was a little girl. Uh, the sight of them, especially their legs, used to completely freak me out. Um, I'd start crying, hyperventilating, become hysterical to a point of embarrassment. And uh, then I, after having an incident where I passed a dead one once coming into work, um, and I had to call my partner, and he had to actually talk me through it, uh, I realised then that I really had to do something about it. And that's when I contacted Bella. I just, I couldn't believe that it worked. I couldn't believe that, you know, obviously the first time that I, I had to confront one again after the, the treatment, um, I wouldn't say I breezed through it, but I did all the steps that Brian gave me. I, I remembered what I had to do, I remembered the session, and I just, I took control of the situation and I was completely fine, and the more that I dealt with it, the more situations arose. I just got better and better and I kept practicing and now I think I've just, I've, I've got so used to doing those things that I'm now, I'm quite in control. Um, I wouldn't say I'm, uh, I'm going to be holding one and having one as a pet, but, but they, I, I'm now rational about when I see one. I think the thing that's amazed me with what you did, and I still have no idea how it worked, but um, the thing that amazes me is that it's completely desensitised. That I used to have such an intense reaction um, to the point of not even being able to go out comfortably um, if we were out of because I'd constantly be looking if there was one around and I was so scared that you know I couldn't relax. Anna came to the office um, today and when I went down to get a key for him, there was a big dead one um, sitting there and I said to my girlfriend, I've got to go back and move it and uh, grabbed a piece of cardboard and I went and I switched it out and she said to me, wow, I never ever thought you'd be able to do that before and I was fine, absolutely fine.